Hey, this is Daniel. This is Dan. This is Wayne. And this is Ben. And, and we're, we're Imagine Dragons. Dragons. Imagine Dragons is an anagram. And uh, for those people out there who don't know what an anagram is but are too embarrassed to, uh, to say so, that's totally cool. I didn't know what it was either. An anagram is when you have a word or phrase and you jumble the letters to create a new word or phrase. So uh, we had something that we, that we liked but we didn't want to call the band by it. So we jumbled them up and once we came up with Imagine Dragons, it, it stuck. We all liked it and we, uh, we started calling the band that name and uh, fans at our gigs would come up with guesses about what the anagram was and it kind of became a fun interaction with our fans. Stayed secretive on the matter and uh, maybe the day will come one day when we reveal it, but that day is uh, not today. Oh man, uh, we take a lot of influence from classic rock bands like uh, the Beatles, yeah. the Rolling Stones, yes. Floyd, and Floyd yeah. Led Zeppelin, Paul Simon, um, Queen, Queen, mm -hmm. and then newer bands too like uh, Arcade Fire, Muse. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we went into the studio with, you know, 20-something songs and whittled it down to our very favorites. So everything on Night Visions is all of our favorite songs. But I, if I had to choose right now, in this moment, I would say... Tiptoe. Uh, Radioactive is a song about becoming self-empowered and kind of rising above surmounting odds. Um, what really inspired it was probably my depression. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, just battling, you know, to, to be happy. And that's kind of, you know, struggle inspires inspiration. It's a very uh, good question. We love Muppets and Puppets. We grew up watching, you know. Creepy Muppet movies yeah. like Dark Crystal and Lab Labyrinth. Labyrinth and uh, Freckle Rock. Yeah, kind of those creepy Muppet We've movies. We've always wanted to see them just tear each other apart. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting because, you know, most most like puppety things are very like friendly, but then you put a twist on it and make them all creepy. And that's kind of what we yeah. wanted to do with Radioactive. We like to keep our fans on the toes, you know. Most people were expecting like this post-apocalyptic, like cool, dark video, but we were like, no, this is what we're going to give you. <laughs> Oh man, so many embarrassing moments. I fell into a river the other day in Amsterdam. A canal. A canal. I stepped off the bus canal. and it was like two feet away from a canal. I don't know why we parked right next to a canal. You might be thinking of a canal like with beautiful clean water, but this, this was like in the city, inner city, like people maybe like used it for other things. Yeah. And I yeah. fell into it and fell, you know, like ten feet into the water. And Ruined my phone. Computer. I, new phone. That was, that was I, felt, I felt really bad for you. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of our fans in Malaysia that have been um, supporting us, you know, calling in, making requests, and being patient, waiting for us to come to the country. We promise that we're trying very hard to make a, make a trip out there, and hopefully very soon we will be there and you'll be able to come and see us live. I promise we're, we're going to make our way there as soon as humanly possible. We really appreciate you being here from, from the beginning. Lots of kisses and hugs. We'll see you soon. <laughs>